So I'm going to show you this little cream puff we bought for 200 bucks at an auction. It doesn't look like much, and we don't know what we're going to do with it, but we're going we're gonna to make something out of it. I don't know what yet. Just depends on if it runs and if it works. So I'll walk you around and show it to you real quick. It's kind of beat up. These little body work. Missing the toolbox. It does have a seat on it. It's a John Deere F915 diesel. And I don't know. We're going to fire it up here and we're going to see if it runs. It's showing 1963 hours on it. But it sure is beat up. I tell you, it's. There's no muffler on it. The tie rod end. <laughs> the tie rod end is all bent like a pretzel. I didn't see any hydrostat oil in it. And there was no cooling in it. I don't know where all that went to. We're going to try to figure all that out here. It does have diesel fuel in it. Hopefully it's not biofuel. So we'll get get busy here and we're going to make shift a battery in it and just just to see if we can get the thing to start if we if we can't even get it to run then we might not be doing nothing with it I don't know but see if we can at least just get the thing to start got a lot of rust on the cables there it's surely doesn't look real good but <clears throat> We'll just see if we can get her started real quick. Go from there. That's the $65 question. What happened to her? I'll tell you one thing. The whole bottom of that radiator, when it came out of there, was completely full of trash. I mean, completely full of trash. There was so much trash in there that it had to be overheating. I like to roll in push tubes in my fingers just to make sure that they're not not bent. They all look pretty decent. So now we're down to the head bolts. So we'll start rattling these, start rattling these head bolts out. We'll find out soon enough what we got going on here now, won't we? Well, it looks like the valves are all intact. down in here this number two cylinder is just looks like it's scored and it's just oh yeah yep she's been hot she's been hot All three of them. But number two is really bad. Number two is really bad. Hard to make compression when you don't have any rings left in you. <laughs> so, the only thing that's going to work on this old girl is going to be an overhaul kit. And do we want to do it or not? That's going to be the thing now. Do we want to do it or not? Show you here was. The engine that came out of this was a Yamar 3TN, and the used engine that I bought is a Yamar 3TN, and it also came out of a John Deere lawnmower. But 
just because it's a 3TN doesn't mean anything and I'm going to show you what I ran into with this engine. Now I'm going to have to make everything fit. So the first thing was, was the engine mount bolt spacings are wrong. The bolt spacings on that block and the bolt spacings on this block were totally different. The harmonic balance on the front, on the one that came out, had three lugs. The one that came on this engine had four. And not only that, but the size of the crankshaft is different. If you look at these pulley assemblies, you'll see the one that came off, three bolts. And look at the diameter. This is a tapered fit. But look at the diameter of the crankshaft. Then look at the diameter of this crankshaft. See how much bigger it is? Well, this one's four bolts. So I can't even put this one on there. So what I had to do was, this was a drive shaft that came out of the one that I have with a flex coupling. And on the spline on the hydrostat unit was a cinch. The one that came off of the engine that I have now is a four bolt. You see how long the drive shaft is. And on the end of it was a slip yoke instead of a cinch. So now I'm going to have to cut this all apart and change all of this. I'm going to go back with the original four bolt and change the four bolt drive shaft. These engine mounts, you can see where I've had to elongate these holes. So where the engine sat is totally different. It's just going to be a, I thought it would be real simple, a 3TN and a 3TN, but uh, that didn't pan out. The front of the engine's even different. The, the timing cover's out farther in the front. This one's actually got an accessory drive that's not being used, but totally different. You would think that they would be a little bit more closer to being the same, but they're not. But anyhow, what I want to do here is I want to take, you see where I've taken the front of it here and I've turned those around so that they're coming together in the middle and I'm going to cut all this off of here I'll put a stop in here and then I'm going to put a receiver hitch out here to move trailers with I think it would be real handy moving trailers this engine here is another little Yamar that I purchased that's needing help it's a little three cylinder I was going to put it in there originally and I even went back and I measured the harmonic balance on the front of this with the three bolt holes. And guess what? This one's a half an inch smaller than the one that I already have. This is not a 3TN engine, but you better be real careful when you start looking around for used engines and make sure that they fit. I would have been better off to spend the 600 hours and rebuild this one, which is probably what I'll end up doing. And then I'll have a whole box full of engines laying around here that I don't know what I'll do with someday, I guess. <laughs> oh, well. A lot of parts. So we ended up modifying a lot of stuff to make this engine fit in this tractor, but oh, well. So the first thing was, was the factory battery that goes underneath of the seat. We've changed it and we cut the toolbox out to put a bigger battery in. The factory battery is 120 something dollars and this is a $59 battery because it's a group 24. I modify everything to fit a bigger battery. It just makes, just makes more sense to me. Have a bigger battery for less money. So we got her all put in there. We've, we still need to build some brackets for our exhaust and I don't know what we're going to do with the back end of it yet. I'm thinking about mounting a hydraulic pump back here and running it off my electric clutch and maybe put a reservoir on here. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Do something with it. We put a different kind of air filter on it and remounted it. We had to change a lot of things. But uh, it's a little sewing machine. So we turned the 
arms around and we took a piece of tubing and we made us a receiver hitch out of it. We're going to put this piece of tubing in here, weld it all together and have a receiver hitch out here on the end for moving trailers around and the other thing I want to do with it too is I want to take I want to take this snow plow right here and I'm going to modify that snow plow to fit in that receiver also so I can move trailers with it push some rock push some snow push some dirt whatever I want to push with it we're going to try that and see how that works out but right now we're getting ready to put this receiver on there so we put a three-way ball in the front of it which you could put a receiver you could put a anything you want a pinnel hitch anything you want in there the two hydraulic cylinders that raise the more deck now will raise that up and down you come out here and pick up your trailer and carry it into the shop work on it bring it back out here and park it put our snow plow on a little different we didn't put a receiver on it we just it fit that tongue real good so we just put her on there tight and put two three eighths bolts in it I think it'll be fine just like that Got a little lever here you can pull the lever and swing it from one side to the other side we put a little support brace on our muffler here and we fitted it to the ground so it fits really good it's gonna be pretty handy for pushing snow and things like that something you can do with it even if the mower deck shot and everything else is shot <laughs> I'm in this one pretty deep <laughs> like a lot of other things I do so don't throw it away make something good out of it hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching <laughs>